Hello, this is Galen Stone from the University of Kentucky, and this video is based on the meeting for action that's going to take place after my project is complete um, for the instructional technology needs analysis. So the first step in the meeting it will be to restate the original contract. So from the original contract, the, the main goal was to identify areas for improving educational technology support. Um, and then one of the main frame factors for the project was to use some data that was collected previously um, from an e-learning experience analysis that I worked on. The second part of the meeting will be to state the structure of the meeting. So um, I'm just going to kind of lay this out for the people attending the meeting in terms of, of the agenda. The first step will be to present the picture, so kind of help them see the overview, the forest for the trees. The second step will be to present recommendations based on the analysis. Um, the third step will be to get clients' reactions um, to the findings and recommendations. Um, and then talk about next steps for moving forward with action. And then finally, any control or support needs um, that may arise. So the third and fourth steps um, based on Block's model is to present the picture and recommendations. So the, the purpose, I'll restate to them, um, and basically this needs analysis um, is to focus on improving instructional technology support for faculty teaching in all different types of environments, including face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and online settings. Um, and then, so this is done by identifying performance gaps um, that are technology and skill related and help faculty fill these gaps. Um, talk about the background, so explain the issues um, that have been uncovered in other analyses. And then also my work with faculty has, has provided some insight into what some of these gaps may be. I'm going to mention the SWOT methodology. Block says not to go deep into this, but um, I know the stakeholders will want to know at least what methods were used, maybe not get into specifics, but just kind of briefly explain what I used. And then um, talk about explain the findings and recommendations for, for improving technology support. So the fifth, sixth, and seventh steps, according to Block's model, um, take up the majority of the meeting. So really, he says step five begins on the 13-minute mark, and step seven ends at the 54th-minute mark. So um, that adds up to about 70% of the meeting. So this, this is the main bulk right here. Um, I'll be asking the clients for their reactions. Um, try to go around the room if, if some of the people in the meeting are, are quiet, try to get their feedback. Um, and then after their reactions are voiced, I'll, I'll see if they're getting what they want from the meeting. Um, then I'll ask them how they would like to proceed with what the recommendations um, or if they see any modifications being made to those recommendations. And finally, for the last five minutes, um, the conclusion of the meeting will be devoted um, for, for testing for control and commitment. So I'm going to ask the clients for their sense of moving forward with recommendations and if, if the steps are logical to them. Um, I'm going to also remind myself to check and make sure that I got what I wanted from the meeting. Um, since I am an internal consultant, I will ask how I can be supportive for moving forward with these recommendations. Um, and then to conclude, I'll ask for any feedback on my consultation efforts so that I can improve um, my consultations in the future. So this is kind of a summary of my action meeting. Thanks for watching.